like you said, it's just like no lifestyle, nothing could have been farther from what I was, the way I was growing up. And so it was just fascinating to hear these songs about the beach and the girls and the cars. We had none of that. Yeah. You know, the girls, we had some girls, but they didn't have, they didn't have anything to do with me, believe me. <laughs> I was a little nerd, <laughs> still am. But it was just fascinating. So uh, quite alluring. So when I finally got to go to California, first time was in, first time I went to California was in 73. I just loved it. You know, I loved it. Then I moved out there yeah. in 77. No, man. There. Matt and Greg talked about Matt and Greg Coffee, um, who you were on their show with, talked about how when I think it was at least Matt, I don't know about Greg, but Matt talked about how, and I know Darren has mentioned this in other interviews he's done, where he got made fun of for listening to the Beach Boys music and where he grew up. What, what, what was your love for the Beach Boys across the board with other kids your age where you grew up in Ohio, or is it you know a rare, a rare thing? Well. For, for the first few years of the Beach Boys success, it was, they were very cool. They were very hip. And then things kind of turned in 67 or 68. Yeah. Suddenly they weren't all that, that cool. <laughs> they were to me and they were to a lot of people, but we kind of had to keep it on the down low because it wasn't all that hip. But they really turned around. And now their music obviously has just persevered and is, is so well loved. 